Hello, in this video, I will show how you can make this auto top off system using 3D printing. Before getting into the process of doing it, I will give you another quick update on this Molly tank that I showed in my last video 10 days ago. I will take the chance to explain how this auto top off system will help making the case for this fish tank even easier. As you can see that, there are some changes. Plants are bigger, lushy looking. Let's have a look at how much the plants have grown. I cut down the tall basil plants and made two new cuttings. Without roots, they flopped down a bit for a few days, but they are up and growing now that the roots have developed. Inside the fish tank, water is still crystal clear. Fish are very active and looking for food all the time. Water level got more than one inch lower, and that is what we will be addressing today in a minute. Within the last 10 days, I got four more new molly babies. The new babies are a little darker and hard to spot with a black background, but they are happily swimming around. I have not done any water changes in this tank. But to tell the truth, aquaponics or this aquaponics system is not magic. Many beginner fish keepers believe that as long as they have lots of plants, the water should stay clean. That is a good store, but not enough. There are few things to do to keep the plants growing healthily to eliminate the need for water changes. Plants in this aquaponics box could not grow only on the composed product of fish waste, which contain mainly nitrogen and phosphate. Plants also need trace elements and micronutrients. I have witnessed herbs uh, like mint and basil got stunned growth without balanced nutrients. If the plants stop growing or grow slowly, they won't do much to clean up the water. To provide these trace elements and micronutrients for plants, every three days, I dose in one ml of Seachem Flourish. There are many equivalent products from other brands on the market. This is not a chemical, it's just a liquid plant food uh, that doesn't contain nitrogen or phosphate. This liquid only contains trace elements and micronutrients needed to supplement with nitrate and phosphate that are already in the water. Now, the plants could grow happily with a balanced diet. However, I don't like dosing the liquid this way and also top off the water once a week. That creates a sudden change in water parameters and might stress the fish. Advanced fish keepers understand the importance of having stable water parameters, especially reef tank keepers or discus fish keepers. A sensitive auto top off system is the key to stable water for aquariums. Every time the water levels go down slightly, the system will fill it right back up with only less than one thousandth of the water volume of the tank. It is almost like using drip acclimation for new delicate fish or corals. There are not many low cost sources of auto top off for beginners. I found a few cheap ones that is sold up bottle as water reservoir. However, they only work with rimless tank not standard tanks with frame like this one. So I decided to design one myself. I made sure that my auto top off system fits seamlessly on every tank size that my aquaponics filtration system could fit on, which means tanks up to 40 gallons. But I only recommend to use this auto top off system for tanks that are smaller than 15 gallons. For the reason is that, as you could see earlier, on this 10 gallon tank, it loses about one gallon of water every week, even with the lid on. A large soda bottle is only 2 liter, which will only last about 3 days. On larger tanks with open top, you will need to refill the bottle a few times a day. That will become a burden instead of helpful. I will share the 3D print files of my design for free. Now, let's print the pieces and I will show you how to put the system together. Open your 3D printing software, import the file that we provide, arrange and print. Print the pieces at the best quality that your printer allows. Here are the 3D printed pieces. Let's clean them up. You will also need a few other components that you could buy easily from Amazon. A garden hose flat o-ring, a 12mm diameter thin stainless steel spring, a 12mm inner diameter with 15mm outer diameter o-ring, two M5 plastic screws. Links to buy these components are in the description below. First step is to take these two pieces, try to fit them together with the thread. 
The reason is that 3D printing is not very precise and we need some wiggling and forcing to fit things together. Take them apart. Put this o-ring on this piece. Take this nozzle piece. Slide the spring inside on the smooth side that have an angle on it. Slide this slider piece through the spring and the little hole inside the nozzle. Push the piece in with your finger. Screw the o-ring piece on. All the way in. Make sure that the slider could move in and out smoothly. Take this cat piece. Push this flat o-ring on this larger side. Turn to the other side. Screw the o-ring sealed nozzle in. Tightly. Take this fixture piece, screw this cap on. All the way in. Take the two M5 screws, screw them in just a bit into the threaded holes on the two sides. That's it, let's install it on the tank. Align the feature on the edges in a corner of the tank. Tighten the screws. Doesn't need to be too tight, just enough so that this shelf doesn't move around. Take a clean empty soda bottle. I prefer the large one like this, 2 liters. Take the cap out, remember to recycle it. Fill the bottle with clean water. I will put in 1 ml of secant flourish in the bottle. Close it with a spring sealed cap. Turn the bottle upside down. You might experience some slow drippings because of the imperfection of 3D printing. Slide the cap inside the slot. If the water level is lower than the nozzle, you will see the air bubble float up inside the water bottle. If the water level is high like right now, nothing will happen. Let's pretend that the water got evaporated by scooping out some using this cup. Look at this, bubbles are floating up slowly, which also means that the water refill is happening and very gentle, and the job is done. Now, you could just leave the tank open top like this because the lid won't fit anymore, but that will make the tank lose its water faster. I still want to use this lid to slow down the evaporation. I would have to trim this corner of this lid. Take some measurement. I would have to cut about 4 inches on each side. Make the mark. Draw a line. Make sure to arrange the wire of the light on the lid so you don't cut it by accident. Action and cut literally. Install the lid back on. Pretty good fit. I will check again tomorrow to see how this auto top off works. Oh my god! Look at what happens overnight. This bottle is so squished. The water level seems right. But I don't like this at all. I think that this soda bottle is not rigid enough. Let's try to take the bottle out. Reshape it, put it back on, as squished as before, I have to solve this problem. I think that I have a simple solution, I will just 3D print two extra pieces. These two rings hopefully will prevent the bottle from being deformed. Slide the big ring onto this part of the bottle. Tape the two ends together. One more piece of tape to keep this ring in place. Same thing with the smaller ring.
Now, let's try again. Perfect. It is less elegant compared to before, but it works. I also tried with other types of soda bottles. This one leader works perfectly without any problem. This straight to liter bottle, we need the rings. I recommend three like this. I hope that you like this auto top of design. You can get the design for free from my company's website, aquaticcircle.com. Go to product tab, scroll down, the link is right here. If you would like to contribute to our funding campaign effort, you can claim these files through our Kickstarter site with just $1. I understand that not all fish keepers own a 3D printer or the cost of 3D printing all the pieces combining with other components might become expensive. That's why we just made the manufacturer's version of this system available for pre-order through our Kickstarter campaign site for only $12. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy fish keeping.